This video contains my unboxing and initial impressions of Alpha Max's 1 6 scale PVC figure of Sakura Hina. This figure contains artistic representations of female genitalia and male ejaculate. I believe this video falls within YouTube's guidelines regarding nudity found at the link in the description. If you are offended by these topics, please take responsibility for your preferences and close the video now. By viewing this video, you agree that you do so of your own volition and meet the legal requirements of your location. Please enjoy. Hello everybody, it's Murialda here again and we've got one last figure of the year. It was kind of a surprise, but she's here. She caused a lot of problems. Well, not a lot of problems, just a lot of frustration, I should say. Um, sorry about that uh, intro. We are getting into the questionable territory here, so I just wanted to cover my ass, so CYA intro is a go. Um, yeah. Now, obviously this figure is adults only, so the video is going to be rated adult content. So we're all adults here. Keep that in mind when you comment. I don't want to be seeing any comments about, you know, ooh, you're going to be, you know, masturbating on this figure and everything. I don't do that stuff. I won't deny that it doesn't happen, but I don't do it. And if you want to comment like that, just go to another video. Um, anyways, as I, I haven't said yet, but <laughs> this figure is Sakura Hina from Alpha Max. And she is my first anatomically correct figure. So yeah, you're going to get some uh, vagina. And you're going to get some semen. So yeah. Um, the reason I say she caused some problems, or frustration, is, uh, I was surprised, I thought she was going to be released, like, at the end of the year, or even be delayed, but she was released, uh, in, uh, the 21st of December, and, you know, Christmas is right around that time, so I was hoping she would be here for Christmas, but... I wasn't expecting it, and well, with shipping and everything, and customs, and it being the holiday, she didn't quite make it through customs on Christmas Eve, so, oh well. I didn't want them delivering her on Christmas Eve or Christmas anyways, because, you know, post office, postal workers should be at home too. I mean, technically, it is an express package, so the, there has been stories about deliveries happening on Christmas Day. But anyways, so I, I had a Monday off because the, you know, Christmas fell on a weekend. So I was figuring, oh yeah, I'll get her for sure on Monday. And I watched the tracking. She left Chicago and was on her way. And the hours just ticked by. Finally, I got to the point where I'm like, boy, my regular mail should have been here already. Turns out the post office was closed on Monday as well. So, yay. I figure, okay, whatever. They can have a day off. I'll get it on Tuesday. Tuesday came around, and I got the update on the tracking that said attempted delivery at noon. So I'm like, okay, yay. It's still at work. My boss is on vacation. I'll leave at 4. I'll go pick it up. It's the first time I've ever gotten to the post office and the package still wasn't there. Which is really strange because I live like two minutes from the post office. The delivery driver should have made it back in time. But whatever. I wound up going during my lunch break today. Took a little bit of a longer lunch break and I managed to get her. So let's uh, start opening the box. So to start with, we've got a new Ami Ami card with Amiko and Liliko in their Christmas outfits. And it looks like they're hol holding a ribbon probably for the new year. And the back of the card. And we'll put that off to the side. Got paper. 
And we've got the figure. I always open these boxes so that it's upside down. They packed her very well. So yeah, this is Sakura Hina. She's an original character. Uh, the original illustration is by uh, Kurihito Misaki. And I found I pretty much love his artwork. <laughs> um, she is from ma manufactured by Alpha Max, part of the SkyTube line. Uh, she's one six scale, and I bought her from Amiyami. I did not get the uh, bonus item, which I think was an acrylic plate. And I'm not into those. And like I said before, she was released December twenty first of two thousand and sixteen. And I paid 12,400 yen, which was about $108. And shipping was 3,700 yen for EMS, or about 32.22. And like I said, she is cast off. She has nipples. She has lady bits. So yeah, let's uh, do a little spin around of the box. So there's the front of the box. And there is the side of the box with edited original artwork. They blurred out her nipples. And you can see she has semen all over her. There's the back of the box showing some more shots of her. And you can see like it has fake semen that you can put on her. That's going to stay in the box for me. I'm not into that. There's the side showing the figure with all of her gooey glory, glory. There is the top of the box. And the bottom upside down, of course, showing all the information with her name, Sakurahina. So the reason I bought this one is quite simply, she is gorgeous. She is so beautiful. You can say whatever you want about, oh, you just bought her because, you know, she's got her tits out and stuff like that. This face and the hair, that's the reason I bought her. I absolutely love the way she looks. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get her open. I've been very excited for her. Of course, you know, shipping delays increase that excitement. So we'll go ahead and open this, and we'll pull her out. So the inside of the box, you know, it's pink, it's got a little bit of a floral pattern, and it's got her name. Nothing too exciting. Inside the boxes are usually fairly boring. Uh, she comes with some instructions which we'll pull out because we may, we may need to refer to them. I think I figured her out from the pictures, though. So, yeah, take her bra off, take her body apart, put her body together, take a leg off, put her underwear on, take her shirt off or on, all that fun stuff. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I figured it out. So... There is Hina in her blister packaging. Do a spin around of that. Definitely looks beautiful. And there's the back. Back to the side and to the front again. So this figure is not for everyone because not everyone can have adults-only figures. I'm not into them that much either because uh, I prefer my figures to be clothed or PG. I have made exceptions to the rule before with Asmodeus, and I made an exception with uh, Sakurahina. So she has a separate blister for her naughty bits. and get that one open.
And I thought about how I'm going to display her because, as I said, she has separate bottom pieces and everything like that. I'm going to probably have her with her naughty bottom, but the underwear on. I'll leave the bra on and I'll leave the little shirt piece off. Speaking of the little shirt piece, there's a little shirt piece that covers her cleavage. I guess it's supposed to be like her undershirt being pulled up. So there is her underwear. It's not the most attractive piece of clothing, but it'll hide her naughty bits. And it's got one strap free, and there's a little tiny peg on the bottom end of it that you peg into the skirt or the underwear back. I may not put everything completely together because I have had experience with this like almost rubbery type stuff from Alpha Max before where it just ripped off. So we'll be careful with it. And then in some translucent plastic that hides some details, we have her naughty bits. So it's the bottom torso of her, the leg comes off so that you can get her underwear on. It's got her pantyhose all bunched up with only the one leg containing them. So she's got a belly button. She's got a booty. And she has fully anatomically correct vagina. No anus though. No butthole. So not com totally anatomically correct, but close enough. Put this off to the side a little bit. And since she is one six, she's quite large. So now we'll open up her main blister. There it is, stuck to the bottom. So as I said, this is going to stay in the box. But this is like the fake rubber, uh, you know, bukkake. It, I think it just would just stick on her wherever you want to put it. But as I said, that's going to stay in the box for me. I'm not into that. And the bottom is taped on. So she has a fluffy base. Which we're just going to rip open and pull out. So yeah, it's, you know, like soft, fake fur and fluffy. Put that off to the side. Just take that off. blister open. And we'll start with the coat. So there is the coat. This does not actually go on to her. It just lays on the base wherever you want to put it. And it's just to imitate that, you know, she's been stripped and her clothes are just thrown wherever. Because, you know, She's had some uh, fun. Same with her skirt. So it's got some nice shading on the skirt. Surprisingly detailed for, you know, a pointless item to just throw to the side. I don't see any, like, paint flaws. The lines are very crisp. Throw that on the base. And then... There's some sticky plastic. It's her little necktie if it'll focus there we go once again just something to throw on the base to show that she's had some fun whether it was fun or forced we'll say it was fun 
And then the main attraction, Hina. So we'll put this stuff off to the side. So let's see. Looks like her head's gonna come off. Did the instructions ever say to take her head off? No, they didn't. So maybe her head doesn't come off. But her body comes apart. So that you can get the plastic off the bottoms. So there's her bottoms with the pantyhose on. I've never been a fan of this style of pantyhose that goes over the underwear. Never really looked good to me. I much prefer like thigh highs or maybe even garter belts. But I mean it is what it is. And with the way the plastic is around her neck, her head's really seems like it should come off. But we're just gonna rip that plastic off instead of trying to force her head off because she's expensive. I don't want to break her. And put that off to the side. So as I've said, her face is absolutely gorgeous, so beautiful. Maybe if I turn this one light off. It sucks that it's dark out, but it is what it is. As I've said, like everything is immaculate. Alpha Max did a very good job on her. And then her bra is kind of just stuck on there. So there's her bra. It's got a little bow tie. Obviously no back strap or shoulder straps. And there's her nippies. Fully exposed boobs. Fully painted perky nipples. Feels very nice. So we'll start with her in her naughty form. As I said, this is probably going to be the way I display her plus the underwear. I'm I'm not gonna attempt to put this on, but you would slide it on. Maybe we'll try it. So you, like, you take her leg off. The side of with the strap that's attached goes around her leg and slides up. Covers her naughty bits, her lady bits. It's a very tight fit. So you don't want to be mess changing the way you display her a lot. And then that strap would go and you have to stretch a little bit, make sure everything's absolutely tight. And then it'll hook into the back corner of her underwear. Um, I probably won't actually be attaching it because it's just so tight and I don't want to break it. But for now, we'll go ahead and take the underwear back off. Remember, we're all adults here. And we'll go ahead and put her leg on. Um, you know what? No. We'll start with her in her completely clothed form. <laughs> so you put her legs back on. And you put her bra on. It actually stays on there pretty well. It, there's no stickies or anything. Uh, you can put her shirt on under there. And then she sits very nicely. We'll pull this a little bit closer, get a little better view of her. Sorry, should have adjusted the camera a little bit better beforehand. Close enough. We'll do a little spin around of Hina. She is gorgeous. Very pleased with her. Like I said, she's my most adult figure now. And she's not for everyone. If you like her though, and you are of age, go ahead and get her. You will be pleased. 
So now you can take this piece of shirt off. And like I said, this will probably be in the box for me. Focus on her face a little bit more. Uh, let's see, I'll take the camera out and get a little close up. There we go. So yeah, I think she's meant to be looked at more from below. So if you can get her on a top shelf, that would be the ideal situation for her. She's got kind of a nervous expression. Maybe ashamed or whatever. Kind of sad. I don't know. It kind of gives you this idea that maybe she didn't have fun. But I think she had fun. And I like her cleavage. That's why that piece is probably going to stay off. Um, it may look a little bit yellow on camera. But I think that's just my lighting. When I turn that light off, she looks a lot better. Her flesh tone. So yeah, that that yellow tinge to her skin is just, you know, bad lighting. So we'll go ahead and put this back in the stand. And we'll take her bra off. So you pull the tops of the cups down and then you pull it out. And it just fits in there. It doesn't stick on or anything. There's no stickies on the inside of the bra. You can see the little dent divots for her nipples. So this is another nice way to display her with her top exposed but her bottom still covered. Go ahead and take that off now and we'll put on her Naughty bits. I say naughty bits. I mean, they're perfectly normal, natural, beautiful. They're not naughty unless you make them naughty. So, yeah. I mean, you won't even see it when she's sitting down. So maybe I'll even leave the underwear off. Probably wouldn't be the best thing if someone came over and saw it, though. She's got a nice booty. Butt crack and everything. And she is quite large. The 1 6 scale works with her very nicely. Spin around again. And just because I put that warning, let's get a little bit close up view. So there you go. If you've never seen a vagina, Here's a sculpted vagina and vulva and all the lady bits. The vagina is actually the tube inside. But yeah, it it's hidden kind of pretty nicely when she's actually on the base. So maybe see a little bit better. Yeah, it doesn't really show anything. It just gets buried in the fluffy base. Her hands are done very nicely there. She's got nice long fingers. Nails are painted, of course. Uh, her toes are done very nicely. She's got a very long and skinny big toe. Nails are painted, of course. Yeah, there's her butt crack. And She's got a nice little scrunchie holding her side ponytail, which is all curly. She She's just gorgeous. So we'll go ahead and put the camera away. And we'll do a final spin around as I uncover my notes so I can read them. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this is Sakura Hina. She's an original character based off of artwork by Kurehito Misaki. And you may recognize some of his other works, like Cat Lap Milk, uh, Togetsu Matsuri, uh, all the Saikano girls, like, you know, Utaha, or Eridi, or uh, uh, Kato Megumi, and a couple others. Uh, she's manufactured by Alpha Max, part of the Sky Tube line, and is a 1-6 scale. 
I got her from Amiami. They did have a bonus item if you wanted to pay extra. I did not want to pay extra, so I didn't get it. Uh, she was originally released uh, December 21st of 2016. She's my 76th figure and my 31st figure this year. It was a surprise release. I'm happy. Uh, and I paid for her 12,400 yen or 108 USD. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you didn't uh, do certain things that would cause uh, this to happen. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Please be an adult in the comment. I'm out. Bye-bye. <laughs>